With all these recent mass shootings, we wanted to know what's being done to protect you from the next one. Denver 7's Jessica Crawford has a look at how Denver police train for a worst case scenario. This virtual training really helps officers to feel like they're in the moment. There are hallways, there are people asking for help, and there is a real sense of urgency. I need medics code 10. I got an officer down. Clear. Here's a look at the Denver Police Department's virtual reality training. They can practice their responses to multiple different types of scenarios, from active shooters to scenes where they don't quite know what the problem could be. Much of this training is about shoot or don't shoot scenarios or de-escalation. Officers also work on their communication and body language. They decide when it's best to take cover, when to shoot, or when to take some other type of action. This equipment features a lot of different scenarios, mass shooter training is just one of them and uh, they also train inside of the classroom they also train in person but this particular virtual reality training helps to give them a different perspective this uh, what we have here is a seven sided or six sided uh, machine where now we have can almost be a 360 so it can be uh, we can involve more training we can do more officers uh, more than one at once and we can do a variety of different scenarios. It is filmed, so it, it doesn't look like a video game at all. It definitely uh, looks more like a movie, but uh, again, the way that it was filmed and, and filmed and filmed and filmed, and, and so it has all the different outcomes to it. One of the most useful tools on this simulator is the ability to rewind, do a replay, and show officers exactly how they could improve their approach for the next time. I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7.